Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Heinitz, and I work at Clatsop County Department of Public Health, where I'm the Community Health Project Manager. Today, we're going to talk about the COVID-19 vaccines, specifically the Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccines that people seem to have a lot of questions about. So I'm just here to try to answer some of the questions that I hear frequently, either from people who call or in our clinic or things I see on social media. One of the concepts that's come up with the COVID-19 vaccine is herd immunity. So first of all, what is herd immunity? Herd immunity is a concept where if 70 to 90% of people have immunity against a virus, it makes the virus harder to transmit to other people. So the thought is if people are unable to get vaccinated or have not gotten the infection yet, that they're protected when a lot of the folks around them have immunity. So could we use natural infections as a way to get herd immunity for COVID-19? Unfortunately, probably not. So we're not sure how long immunity lasts after a natural infection of COVID-19, but it's looking like possibly only a few months. So to achieve herd immunity, the entire globe would have to get sick within a very short period of time. And I'm pretty sure that would be at the least inconvenient for all of us if all of us were sick and unable to work and unable to take care of others. And at the worst, we could lose a lot of vulnerable people. So we could lose a lot of loved ones and those who got sick could also be have lasting health effects from the illness. So everybody getting sick and creating herd immunity is not a great concept. Would it be better with a vaccine? Absolutely. If a vaccine was highly effective and safe, we could vaccinate a lot of people at one time, and then it would be harder for the virus to transmit to others, and it really would be harder for it to travel and infect other people. So using a vaccine for herd immunity is a much better concept than waiting on people to get sequentially sick months apart from each other and try to develop some immunity that would be long lasting. We just don't see that. And I think if we wanna see how that doesn't work in the natural world, all we have to do is look at the common cold and unfortunately influenza, which we have never developed a good uh, herd immunity against. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. For more information, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, or you can check out our website. Thanks and stay well.